The final review is going to be the new Spin Master Black Adam figure, so stay tuned. Rod and Spill here, and today we're going to take a look at the new Black Adam figure from Spin Master, and this is the first edition. First, we'll take a look at the package, as always. There we go. We got Black Adam with looks like a couple weapons. It says Black Adam on the side. <clears throat> Black Adam movie. There's Dwayne the Rock, 3 Plus. There's the UPC. And in the back, it is Black Adam, Hawkman, Cyclone, Dr. Fate, and Adam Smasher. <clears throat> and there's Spin Master's name, and that's about it. So, let's take this out of the package and see what he looks like. Now, the main difference is the old Spin Master figures is they used to come with three mystery accessories. This guy doesn't. He just comes with his uh, two lightning bolts. Oh, hold on. Get me my trusted razor. And we're just going to cut these. Uh, let's see. I guess it's not that sharp, is it? Uh, let's do it from the back. Uh, uh, Alright. There's Black Adam. This is a truly an unboxing. Literally. Since there was no mystery accessories on this figure, I figured I might as well just open them up on camera. <coughs> Down in the, in the link below, I'll leave a play, uh, link for my playlists. Because I do uh, I do a lot of the Spin Master figures. Okay, we got <coughs> Black Adam, Dwayne the Rock, and we've got two weapons. So, <coughs> let's look at the weapons first. It is just yellow lightning. That looks like a 3 millimeter or so peg on that one. And let's see. And these are... The exact same thing. Okay, so pretty neat. And we look at Dwayne the Rock. Here we go. Oh, that is nice. Kind of like Slux Luther in that picture right there. But he's got his bald head. <clears throat> he's got some eyebrows. He's got blue eyes. He's got the white eye. Um, it's pretty, I mean, very detailed. The ears. And then you got the black suit with the gold lightning bolt. Looks like he's got a cool looking belt that wraps around him. He's got some gauntlets, some gold gauntlets. You go down, you see the the multi-layered boots. Pretty cool. It's got a fabric cape, which is not that bad. Better than the vinyl ones. And then you see the back of his belt. <clears throat> More of the gauntlets. You can see his gauntlets wrap around, so you could uh, see some of the black showing in between it. And the boots. No holes in the bottom of the feet. Wow, that surprises me. All right, and I guess what you want to do is we'll put these in here first. Then we'll go through articulation. <clears throat> and then we'll go through some cool comparisons. How about that? That sound good? All right. There he is with his lightning bolts. And, uh, well, I guess you really can't do much with them. But... <clears throat> That's it. Black Adam. Now, for articulation, now one thing, these things are very articulated. Compared to some of the other competitors like Marvel, they are not articulated at all. Let's see. The head goes 360 degrees. There's no up or down. The arm does 360 at the shoulder. It goes out that far. The elbow is not quite 90, but close enough. And the elbow even rotates 360 degrees. No wrist rotation. Surprise it doesn't have waist rotation. Okay, other arm, <clears throat> 360. Goes out. Not quite the 90 degree bend. But it does rotate at the elbow, which is pretty cool. Uh, it kind of kicks up to the side, as you can see. Uh, no kick back. And then... <clears throat> Not quite 90 at the knee, and that's about it for good old Black Adam. Yeah, we'll just put one in his hand. And now we'll just do a couple comparisons. <clears throat> We're going to bring in 
the Shazam uh, Spin Master figure. So that is how those two guys. <clears throat> now this one's, this one's I think it looks more a lot more detailed, a lot more realistic than the Zachary Levi Shazam though. But that's how those guys. Here is the black suit Superman. And now we're gonna get, <clears throat> we're gonna bring in the six inch Shazam. So Black Adam's about four inches. So there is the six inch normal figure. And then we're gonna bring in the multiverse, which is like a six and a half, seven inch figure <clears throat> with like 22 things of articulation. So maybe I'll, if they, I haven't seen a multiverse figure yet. I'm sure they have one. Here's part of the Shazam family. All right, <clears throat> this is a Marvel six inch figure. Now, like I said before, like with the Marvel, no elbow or uh, no knee articulation, no waist. This just regular moves. Uh, here is the uh, kind of like deluxe size Hulk. Yeah, we'll move these guys center. <clears throat> this is the Batman Primal Age figure. Reminds him of the old He-Man figures. And since he's black and gold, we're going to bring in good old Bumblebee. Since uh, he's black and gold, he's black and gold too. And this is mainly a Transformer channel. So we're going to bring in Bumblebee. This is the Origins Bumblebee. And they're about the same size. Bumblebee's more yellow than black, and Black Adam's more black than yellow, but still you get the point. <clears throat> and I guess that is all to say. Now, if there's a link below to buy this guy from, like, Entertainment Earth or, you know, Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon, feel free to click on that. Uh, check out my playlist. Like I said, I'll put the Spin Master playlist in the bottom, but we do Transformers. We do new toy sightings. We do a whole bunch of stuff. DVD unboxings. Uh, let's see. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Folks, It's, it's uh, YouTube's very competitive nowadays, and now you can use all the views I can get. So, all right. So, I guess that's it for Black Adam. I really don't know his catchphrase yet. But for now, we've got Black Adam saying, Shazam!